Okay, so this is a test of the CMPS 14. You can see built a little board. You can see it right there, the little tiny board beside the Nano. And I just modified drive so that it would read that into the machine port and get the heading and stuff. I have one of the original, original version zero steer boards running in with UDP and a little router over there in the corner. And uh, simple, simple, basic, old 20-year-old S2 Outback and with the original fidget motors, the 24 volt. So, this is, uh, by the way, the new interface for making AB lines and curved lines and everything. It's All the lines are one kind of line, so there's no more jumping between, you know, AB and lines and, and driven lines, that sort of thing. But uh, I'll get to that some other time. But anyway, it seems to work really, really well. You can see up in the upper left corner that the, um, there you go, the IMU is on the bottom line, the I and the G is the GPS val uh, heading, and then the resultant on the top is nice and super nice and smooth. Now I'm driving through 20 to 30 centimeters of snow, so this is not the best way to auto steer, because it's really, really slick. So I mean, don't be too concerned about the cross track error, which here is not too bad. You get on some side hills and stuff. Like now it's six, seven degrees, and it's still hanging in there pretty well. The thing just slides. Uh, one of the things I noticed is that, like in the integral value, it I was exceeding two degrees of error. So here I tried cranking up the integral, but I forgot to change the heading to allow the integral to be with a greater heading. But none of that really matters. The only thing that really matters is how well did the IMU work. And you can see at eight degrees, it's really, really stable, and it's it's stable and it's fast reacting. So there's no filtering, there's no, you know, column filtering in any of the code anywhere. It just takes the value right from the CMPS and uses it in uh, in Agoba GPS. So it, uh, the heading, nothing has to be filtered or modified or changed. You just use the value and that makes it really simple. So both the heading and the roll work really, really well. So I thought, well, we'll just go over some rough stuff and came through a, well, this is a slough bottom basically between two fields and it's really rough. So just driving through. There we drove through it. I don't know why I didn't have a video of going through it. Part of the problem is that the, it's so rough that when, uh, when you're driving through it, <laughs> the hard drive locks up and stops and then it won't record. So here, driving back through it again. You can see, you'll see the video just stop. There it just stops. And then kind of goes again. This is really rough, but it stared quite straight through there. And there was really no problem getting through it uh, in a nice straight line. And you can see it, it left, you know, the, the column of snow between the duels. So it followed through there really, really well. And although the, the uh, roll reacts really quickly, it acts, it reacts on time with minimal delay or almost no delay and it doesn't bounce around. So all in all, uh, success.